Guys, we are at the biggest chopper show and custom street bike show in Daytona on the boardwalk. They do this every year. Literally hundreds of the best motorcycles from all over the planet show up here. Look at this Spr Screaming Eagle Springer. What a beautiful piece. Lots of big wheel baggers. You're gonna see the coolest shows, cute, coolest bike bikes at this show, as you'll see anywhere in the world, so stay tuned. You guys put a ridiculous amount of time and money into uh, create, crafting these masterpieces. There's a nice Indian trike. How about this one here? Beautiful leather work. Very nice. Nice looking fat boy. Here's a Pro Charger V Twin Super Pro Charged Supercharged CBO Diner. It's like the one that we sold to uh, one of my friends in Hawaii. He just messaged me the other day. He says he's got the fastest bike on the island. My turbocharged Dyna. 142 rear wheel horsepower and a mountain of torque. A real wheelie machine. Here's a nice custom V-Rod. That is beautiful. Wow. Look at that. Lots of nice trophies. Buddy. I don't know who picks the music at these shows, but every show I've gone to has had fucking horrendous music. Nothing I want to listen to. Sorry, guys. Hey, little buddy. Hi. Don't from everything. They got Hayabusa's, Baggers, Iron Hits, Rat Bikes like this one here. Look at this. 664 off -rain, off -rain They are doing the ride in bike show fans choice. Make sure you can it over to Brandy. Let her know that number. She is That is a wild paint job. Look at that thing. This is probably my second favorite bike right here so far. 1952 Flathead in a Sportster chassis. That thing is freaking cool. I think 1957 is when they came out with the Ironhead style Sportster. But um, this thing is just really cool. Here's a beautiful pan head for you. I haven't seen any knuckleheads yet, but... There's a nice pan for you. Look at that thing. Wow, that is really pretty. 1974, I think. Original paint. Remarkable. 76. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Spirit of 76. Yeah, it's unbelievable. That's obviously my favorite Sportster so far. What a beauty. Wow. Probably a late 50s, uh, early 60s Ironhead. Look at this thing. This guy's got a rocket. How cool is that? This is a cool piece. I don't know if this is an original production Indian, but um, it sure is cool. I think it might be. I know that is. That's an actual production Indian Mini. Those are super rare. Very cool. Here's a super gorgeous, very beautiful, rare Indian 4. This is probably the most valuable motorcycle I've seen here. This bike has an estimated street value north of 100,000. Um, could be 125, it could be considerably more at an auction like Meekum. Here's a beautiful swing arm pan. Look at that. This thing looks original. Beautiful, beautiful bike. Here's another beautiful pan. This is a stunning machine right here. This one probably has a street value of somewhere between 35 and 50,000. Nice Triumph Tiger. That's a beautiful Tiger. That's an original paint bike right there. 50 year old, you can tell it's original because of the patina on it. 11,667 miles. This is a right side shift bike, left side brake. So this is uh, pre-1974. I think it was 75 or 76 they went to the left hand shift. There's a custom pan chopper, really nice. Even got some Orange County Stingrays here. We actually have one of these in the museum.
That's a rare bird, four-wheel Harley. Never seen something like that before. Pretty cool. Look at the engraving work on this thing. What a work of art. Somebody put a lot of time and effort into all the artwork on here. Truly a work of art. Beautiful bike. There's a factory custom with some purple wheels on it. That's pretty sharp. This red, white, and blue. Bagger is really nice. This is parked in the campground right next to us. Stunning bike. Here's a beauty. CVX six cylinder. We've got a couple of these where we're doing right now. This one has low miles, 17,565 miles. Absolutely love the paint scheme on it. The metallic silver double overhead cam, 24 valve. Super Sport six cylinder CVX. That's a beautiful bike. Some beautiful bikes here. That's for sure. If you're on the boardwalk, of course, there's t shirt shops, smoke shops, ice cream shops, pizza, and of course, you can go eat at Joe's Crab Shack out on the pier. You must go to the pier if you go to Bike Beacon. If you walk off this pier, that's Main Street over there. You don't have to go far to be entertained here. The paint shop on this one sparkles like diamonds, literally. The best part about coming to the show is really the venue. It's just incredible. You're on one of the finest white sand beaches in the country, flat. They used to run the Daytona 200 right out here on the sand. Can you imagine that? On the old bikes back in the 30s and 40s before they moved it to the uh, current location. But um, just a, a spectacular venue. And then of course you got the boardwalk over here. You got a park, you got an amusement park over here with all kinds of rides. And, and Main Street is right here, literally. Let me show you. The real, the real bike shows on Main Street, for sure. That's, that's Main Street right there. Main Street is uh, non-stop, 24-7 action for not just Bike Week, but the whole 10 days leading up to it. And uh, you, gotta, you gotta go out to Joe's. They have a restaurant on top of the... Um, the end of the boardwalk here, on the end of the pier, on top of the building. You can sit up on top there and overlook the beach. And it's just a beautiful place to be. And the weather in Florida is just about perfect in March. It's in the uh, usually in the 70s and 80s, not too hot, but the sun's shining bright. The clocks are going forward next week, and it's it's traditionally the kickoff of the riding season up northeast that where we're from in New England. All of the bike shops and uh, our museum opens March 15th, the day after we get back. The, the racetracks, all, they're usually the first race of the season in New England's on the 15th if it's not snow. And uh, we're full steam ahead all the way till uh, Marikade and Laconia come up. And then we got all the nationals, the Southwick National, Unadilla, MX3 Wine, lots of cool events. But today we're just going to enjoy the beach here. Hope you enjoyed that little uh, walk down the boardwalk there, checking out them bikes. Thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe. We appreciate it. God bless you all. Before we sign off, I just got to share with you how beautiful this is. It's freaking spectacular. This is what keeps us coming back year after year. And you can ride your motorcycle down this beach. How cool is that? Figured we take you up on the rooftop with us. Life's too short. And you're going to be dead a long time. You got to get out and have some fun. Thanks for watching, y'all. God bless America.